Welcome back to another how-to video from White Trash Racing. Today we're working on a 3.6 Pentastar and I'm going to show you how to change the rear exhaust cam phaser. A video I could not find anywhere on the internet. So you may be able to find a video on how to change the front one by this uh, by a gentleman that shows you how to change it with the cover off and whatnot. But uh, anyways, he pretty much uses a uh, anyways the proper way to change that once you get the valve cover off. Okay, 2012 Chrysler 200, 3.6 Pentastar Chrysler engine. The cam phaser is bad in the rear exhaust. I've already got it changed as you can see, and uh, in order to loosen the if you want to do the front one, you could loosen the cam chain right here off of the uh, timey chain tensioner right there. Right there is the timing chain tensioner for the front chain, but that's not for the rear chain. There's four chains on this engine, and there's two chains for the... This, this is one chain, and that's another chain right there. Um... In order to do this one, you have to uh, you have to stick this tool right here on the side of it to release the locking mechanism, so you can uh, take the tension off of that chain. But on this one, the locking mechanism is down there underneath the cover, so apparently there's no way to get to it. And uh, from what I've seen, they they sell a tool that you can stick in right here. Where I have this flathead, and that will pry the uh, the guide which is right there it will pry the guide back so you can get this slack in the chain that I have right here see that slack I've got right there but uh the way I did it is I just took this one and eighth wrench and I put it on the rear camshaft and I twisted it this way so I could depress that camshaft myself with the chain once I did that I stuck this screwdriver in there and if you look that screwdriver is just lodged in there that screwdriver is just lodged in there between the Let's see if I can get a video of it see it right there it's just holding on one of the teeth of the chain and prying against the metal of the engine right here and like that I was able to lock that guide back in the loose position once I did that I quickly actually prior to that I actually took the bolt out so the bolt was already out then I just quickly took off the old cam phaser right here while the chain was loose and that was locking it holding it with the holding the slack in the chain and I bolted the new one on real quick and uh, if I go like this and finish tightening up this bolt right here just tighten up the bolt so it doesn't pop out. I'll show you that uh, I've successfully changed out that cam phaser without any special tools at all. So, and I also, prior to that, I'd marked out these. That is definitely a first step you should take, and you should mark the timing marks with. A white paint marker so that when it goes back on you know what tooth it came off of because if you don't do that you'll pretty much be screwed so definitely make sure you mark it with a paint marker prior to that prior to removing it so yeah guys if you if this video helped you which i'm sure it's going to help a lot of people because i couldn't find the video anywhere at all or any write-up or anything on how to do it definitely subscribe to the channel hit us a like and then share the video because you know these cars are getting older and it's only a matter of time before this job has to be done on all of the 3.6 Pentastar engines. So thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.